YouTube, welcome back. So, you've just bought Forza Horizon 5, but you're not sure whether your PC can run the game. Or you have the game, but you feel like the specs of your PC are not up to scratch. So stick around, because I'm going to show you how to get the best settings, the best FPS, and the best looking game on a low-end budget build. So, before we get into any settings changes, I would always recommend updating your graphics drivers. Whether that be NVIDIA, AMD, whatever software you've got to update your drivers, safer to make sure they're up to date. Now, with me using a NVIDIA graphics card, I'm going to tailor this mainly around NVIDIA cards. However, if you have a similar platform with AMD cards, please try and follow along. So the first place I would start before doing any settings changes in the game is to open up GeForce Experience. With this, you can set whatever graphics settings you want. It'll alter the game settings for you. So as you can see here, we have Forza Horizon open here. We can go onto the settings here and it'll give you where it should sit the best for your PC. So as you can see, I can't go full quality because I've only got a GTX 1080 and a Ryzen 9 3900X. So we do this for a budget build. So what we'll do is we'll go straight down to performance, hit apply, and there you go. The custom settings have been done. So now that we've done that part, we're going to load up the game, try fiddle some more settings, see if we can try bring some of the textures up so it doesn't look too bad, and see if we can try and make a middle ground for a low budget build. As a disclaimer, I was always say, make sure you check the recommended specs within the Xbox app, within Steam, just to make sure that your system requirements are up to scratch. And as you can see here, if you want to pause the video, these are the minimum requirements or the recommended requirements for the Xbox app. Here we are in the game and with the lowest performance settings, it doesn't look great. However, we are getting a solid 144 FPS with about 60% GPU usage. So not bad for a low end build. The game will be playable, but it'll probably look like trash. So let's tweak some settings. Let's see if we can keep the FPS about the same and see where we can go from there. Now, before we get into any settings changes, I would always recommend to have this game on an SSD. The game will run fine on a mechanical hard drive. However, the game is designed to run an SSD and you'll sort of get away from the visual effects that you do get where the game will start to lag and you'll start getting stuttering and missing textures and all that kind of stuff. I've got friends in the community who do play on hard drive, but loading times are a lot worse and just can't play the game, but there can be times where you get missing textures. So we're going to hit the start button. We're going to scroll across the settings and we're going to go start with graphics. Good place to start would be to hit benchmark mode. Click yes on here and give it two or three minutes. The game will restart and bring it into the screen here where it looks like it's going to do some background testing here where by the looks of things now, it's going to take you into a race and it's going to run a race and test all the settings and make sure everything works well. So let the race run, see what happens, see if it alters and makes anything better. And then we'll go tweak some settings. And here we have the benchmark results. Now it does say here that the benchmark is inaccurate. Please avoid performing other tasks. I'm not sure if that's because I was recording at the same time. However, the suggested preset here is ultra and the current setting is obviously custom because we turned it off in NVIDIA GeForce. So we'll continue from this, we'll complete it and the game will restart. So after the benchmark mode, we now can see that I can play the game in ultra. However, that's on a GTX 1080 and a Ryzen 9 3900X. Now let's say you've got a older graphics card and older CPU. Let's try to tweak some settings now and see if we can get the best FPS and see if we can get the best looking game. Now, all I will say is when it comes to racing games, FPS isn't always the main thing. As long as the game looks great, runs smooth, a solid 60 FPS with a high graphic detail will always be better than what it would be with a higher FPS like you would do with first person shooter games. So we're gonna go hit settings and we're gonna scroll down to video. Once in video, we're gonna check and make sure our monitor resolution is correct, obviously, Make sure that the monitor resolution matches the resolution in game. You can find this out by going to display settings or check the box that the monitor came in. Frame rate we have as unlocked. Resolution scaling is off. Turn off VSync. Full screen on. You can keep the FPS on if you like if you want to benchmark. However, you don't have to have this on. If you want to copy my FOV settings as well for in game, they are here if you want to pause it. After we've done those settings, we scroll down to graphics and we start going through here. So we skip down here and go to anisotropic filtering. We have that as low. We put shadow qualities to off, night shadows off, version below quality to low, environment texture quality to high, environment geometry quality to high as well, MSAA to four times, FXAA to on, SSAO quality to off, reflection quality to low. Now, world car level detail, we have that as high, and these should be all the settings to make the game look better. So, world car level detailing we have as high, 
deformable terrain quality off, SSR quality off, lens effects on high, shader quality low, particle effects quality low, and then ray tracing quality to off. Now, if you have a ray tracing card, you can turn that on and try it if you like. However, I don't have one, so I can't try that out. And in the game should look like this. Now, it doesn't look too great. However, the cards are a lot smoother. The edges are smoother. The scenery looks a lot better. And we're getting a solid 120 FPS here. So there we have it. Those are the best settings for a low budget build. And like I say, if you want to try other things, you can put them up, put them down and see what bit best fits for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Leave a comment down below and let me know what your settings are and help other people out and see if they can help themselves to make their game look better or run better. We'll catch you in the next one.